I'm Taylor Perkins. This is my son, Teddy, and this is my wife, Lauren. We had a high-risk pregnancy and uh, lots of complications due to several different things. And so I was followed closely here at UK because where else would I go? It's the best. We have been pregnant several times. He's the first um, one that we've gotten all the way. So uh, from that, just having the history of um, miscarriages and um, past pregnancy issues, uh, they deemed it high risk from the start. And then um, he had some issues with uh, cord flow and they were worried that uh, he wasn't growing as he should. So they ended up inducing me at 37 weeks. After laboring for three days, um, he got stuck on his way out. So he's stubborn and uh, he just wanted to, I think, stay in a little bit longer. Uh, so we had to have uh, some, some help getting him out. And his oxygen dropped and his heart rate dropped. So it became pretty serious pretty quickly. Um, thankfully, being at UK, number one, uh, that's the reason we came here, is we knew if there was gonna be any trouble uh, that the NICU was the best place to be here. The thing that struck me is when she was in labor, when, uh, when, when uh, you know, it started heating up, they had out in the hallway, they had uh, the entire PEDS team there, they had the entire NICU team there just waiting for when he, he popped out and he got stuck and they brought him in there and they just had a whole room full of team of people <laughs> working on him and getting him, uh, getting him breathing again. I developed postpartum preeclampsia and had to be readmitted to the hospital and they were so fantastic because we had already been discharged and been home for about two days before I had to come back and they wanted to admit me into um, cardio ICU and uh, we were trying to nurse and do all those things so uh, if I was going to be put in the ICU um, he couldn't come with me. So uh, UK being as they are, they did everything they could and they had me admitted even in my ICU care back into the children's hospital so that he could stay with me. Even with me hooked up to all these heart machines and all this stuff, they had um, lactation consultants and nurses coming in to check on him even though he wasn't technically a patient and helped in the nursing process so that I didn't lose um, that that I've you know we really wanted to do and um, they were just great from the start. Uh, he was good, everything was good, we were all good for about 12 weeks and then we're both working adults so we went to work and he went to daycare where he caught everything. He is they're, they're like little petri dishes and he's had everything. I literally think he has had everything. It's you just throw and throw something out there and he's had it. He had had a cold that just was persistent, and again, just daycare cold. And we didn't really think anything of it, um, but our doctor here at UK, our pediatrician, Dr. Kim Ringley, um, she was a little worried and um, sent us for x-rays, and uh, he we found out he had pneumonia, so we had to be admitted to the hospital. That was the first time. So. Uh, he's had quite his little fair share of hospital stays and and patient visits. Recently, he's been getting ear infections, so uh, so the team there at UK looked at him and uh, and decided they wanted to do ear tubes, so we went and had the tube surgery. And, um, and one of the really nice things is is uh, for somebody his age to get tubes as young as he was is a little unusual, but uh, but they didn't have any hesitation pulling the trigger, and it's been. Uh, it's been a miracle <laughs> to get all that fluid drained out of there and uh, he's like a different different child now almost. He is, yeah. We don't live in Fayette County and uh, we pass three hospitals, um, great hospitals, uh, just to get to the Kentucky Children's Hospital because it's the best and why would we go anywhere else? The specialties and the, you know, the bedside manner and the special, uh, you know, special people it takes to work with kids. And, Kind of stuff is something you just can't get anywhere else.